There it is. I don't I like it when it just thing. spins and you don't know when it's going live. Just and then people spins, say, why it? do you just sit there? Well, we you, don't know when it's going. You don't, you can't see our end. <laughs> we're not just sitting. We're waiting on it to, <laughs> to go live. And we don't know when y'all can mm. see. Today is January the 9th. I always have to look and I apologize. I used to know what the date was, but. Don't now. When I hit 40, I quit knowing what the date was. I just saw somebody from Kansas City got nine inches of snow last night. Wow. That's a lot. So, I got a CT scan yesterday. Yeah. We're just jumping right into this. <laughs> I just jumped right on into it. And the gentleman that was doing the CT, he was quite professional and uh -huh. communicative. And we were talking about it was supposed to get bad last night, whatnot. And he said, well, at least we're not going to have snow. And I said, well, you're right about that. And he said, well, my son lives in somewhere in Indiana, and they're expecting 16 inches of snow. Good gracious. He said, I said, son, you need to come back to Alabama. That's a lot of snow. Because we just don't get that kind of snow. We don't get that kind of snow. Ever, ever, ever. <laughs> and I shouldn't ever. say that. I shouldn't we don't get that. that kind of snow. But we did have... Um, Y'all going to hear the wind in this video because the wind is crazy here right now. Uh, it's constant. I say, I looked at the gate just around 20 miles an hour. But then we all of a sudden we get this big burst of wind. But the sun's shining and the rain's gone. We got a lot of rain yesterday, as did the entire state. It looks like the entire country. That line just like it just wiped all the way through. Well, it didn't start till last night. Yeah. So we got home from our day in Birmingham and it had just started to rain when we pulled in. Yeah. So while uh, we needed the rain, I don't think we needed the severe weather that some people got, yeah. especially down south, or even around Florida area. They got some tornado activity that mm -hmm. we nobody keep likes to see. Panama City Beach is what we keep seeing, the Panama City Beach area. Yeah, so there were more places than that, and they said that the state bird of Alabama was very active yesterday. Which is the trampoline. The trampoline. <laughs> uh, our trampoline does not move because it is staked down. <laughs> It just, yeah, it's staked down. I it's mean, let's not down. say that it can't get moved. I saw, but it is I saw a down. picture of somebody that obviously had this equipment. Yeah. They took their bucket of their backhoe. Uh-huh. And they put it down on the trampoline to leg. To keep it from flying? To keep it from flying. <laughs> That's smart. That was smart. That was smart. That was really We've never had really that smart. to happen, but not to say no. oh i can remember at the old farm when we had that regular kind of trampoline yeah. you would take a ratchet strap and tie it to a tree i would every time i tie it to the tree yeah because that wind will get up and it'll take that trampoline for a flight and it doesn't take much yeah it, it doesn't, doesn't take, take much. much but the wind is it is whipping uh we didn't have we didn't have any damage we had some stuff like the um the, uh, the the beehive tops came off off seven of the ten hives, and I got those put back on first thing this morning. I'm hoping they're okay. Um, they're gonna go check our hives one day this week, supposedly. So and we should be fine. Our garbage is supposed to be picked up on <laughs> Monday. <laughs> he didn't pick it up, and he didn't pick it up, and so there was some trash in <laughs> the driveway. But that was pretty easy to be picked up because it was still in the bags. Yeah, luckily, luckily, luckily. I'm glad we didn't have to go around and pick up. And I will, and I, I videoed the video that's going to come out tomorrow. And I told you, I said, this, I may not be able to get a good video out because it's almost impossible to, um, even with the mic with the wind filter on and all that, it's almost impossible to, uh, to cut that wind noise out. And there's nothing more that I is a, is the, all that wind noise is just, you can't hear what you're saying. And I don't know, it just drives me batty. I was going to say one thing about you is you invest back into the business to make other people's experience enjoyable. Experience enjoyable. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. Um, our friend <sighs> Catherine over there at G&G, &G, it bothers her too. 
and she recently got an upgrade. She got her. If you follow her, you'll be able to probably tell in her next video as yep. well. And I don't know if she recorded today or not, but if she did, she's putting that mic to the test. <laughs> I did get it recorded, and there's some stuff I can do when I edit to help get the wind noise out, but I can't get all of it out. But Well, some people are just impossible to watch because they don't care well, if it's they just, have wind noise or not. Yeah, it's hard. You can't hear them. It's hard. And that wind noise gets so loud. I don't know. It's hard. But I did get a video recorded. I was able to finagle it. I, yeah. um, I hid behind some structures and that kind of thing. Did Mildred pay, play peekaboo with you? Mildred, I got Mildred in the video. She was um she was laying down. Well, I was in the barn. I don't barn. blame her. I was in the barn a few minutes ago doing something I shouldn't have been. <laughs> and all of a sudden, <laughs> and she saw me. Oh, and I was yes. in the bus. Yeah. But she knew I was in there. And she came in that stall and let me know that she was in there. She let you know. She she's did. letting you know that she won't. She's she's she First. Went, go ahead and eat. Let's go on and eat. Well, I thought about putting them up, and then I thought, nah, I better wait till it's over. <laughs> but first, on. when I first went in the barn, Miss mm. Jessie was in the stall, and she, I said, Jessie, what are you doing? I walked over to her, and she was taking that those shavings and scratching them, and I think she's been watching Peaches. Well, she's been Peaches watching was Peaches. in there. Now, Peaches is now a master bed maker. I know. I think Jessie's trying to figure it out. Peaches is a master bed maker. Well, with some of the cold temperatures they're showing to be forecasted for next week, she might need to learn how to make a bed. <laughs> she might be. Those stalls might all come in handy. Oh. We might put everybody inside. Yeah. Mm, I don't mm. know how that's going to go. We shall see. We shall see. Well, we all got our haircuts today. Yes, we did. And I told you, I said, people are still wanting to know about my hair. Hand me your hat. Because it stays under the hat most of the time. And I said, you know what? I'm going to not wear my hat in, in the live today and see what happens. And y'all know what Mary Carl said? What? Mama, you should wear the hat <laughs> and Daddy not wear a hat and see what people say. <laughs> oh, We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. We did get much needed haircuts, and that included Mary Carl, but she is not going to show hers. No, she's not going to show hers, but that's okay. We all did get our hair cut. Mike, I saw Michael Key said, Who in the world is that with Brooke in this live stream? Today? Oh, he thinks it's Fabio. He thought it was Don Johnson. Don Johnson? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> we did, I did come up with some pictures <sighs> before we got our hair cut because mm -hmm. Jason was like, How much do you think I ought to get cut off? Yeah. And I said, I have no idea. And he laughed. And I said, well, you would have laughed if I had said a quarter of an inch. <laughs> so it was a no-win situation. I mean, like, how much do you think I ought to get cut off? Yeah. Uh, it, you just, you can't answer that question in inches. Yep. So some of y'all might think he needs his hair cut, but I like it longer. And it's, I'm enjoying it. It's, um. I tell you, to me, it's a lot easier to fool with than it was when it was shorter, seemed like, anyways. Well, pretty soon he's going to outgrow mine, <laughs> and then we're going to have a problem. I, she did cut about an inch off of it. She did, yeah. and she shaped it up, and she it needed did. it. So, yeah, yours needs cutting about more often than mine just to keep yeah. it in shape. The length grows long. So, I like it. I think it looks good. I like it. I like it. I like it. So, big ball game last night. Yes. It was... Um, it was a pretty entertaining game for a little bit, but then it just, as a, if you're not a fan of either team, it kind of got boring there at the end. So well, I, I, didn't I was unable to finish the game because Michigan just pulled away. Um, but it was a good game. It was, it was a good game. That's Washington just made too many mistakes. The team that makes the least mistakes 90% of the time wins. The other 10% of the time is because that team just got way more talent, but it, um, it was it was it was a good game for a little bit. I guess I saw you at halftime. Yeah. And you told me what the score was and it was close at that time. It had gotten close at that time. But um then we we parted ways mm -hmm. and you came back upstairs to watch the rest of the game and I must say I fell asleep before it was over. <laughs> and I may have myself. Did not know the outcome mm -hmm. until this yep. morning. So But congrat congratulations to the big blue. The Michigan, the Michigan Wolverines. Wolverines. But I, I was telling you, I said, you know what? What else happened uh, 
about this time last year. And I talked about it in a live. I don't think I showed it. That's but not last year. 14, not last year. <laughs> Sorry. 14 years ago. Sorry, y'all. 14 years ago, Mary Carl was born. And we made it back like the day of or the day before Alabama's first national championship game when Nick Saban got there. Mm -hmm. and made you, it back from the hospital. Right. After Mary Carl was born because you were, you, you had some complications and we were there for a little while. And you snapped a picture of me watching the ball game. Y'all guess where he was. <laughs> guess where I was standing. <laughs> oh, I bet you can't guess. <laughs> Watching the ball game with Mary Carl. With Anna. his with his new baby girl in his arms in front of the television. Yep, right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I wonder if we can see a better photo. Can we like that? Oh, there we go. That's better. Right there. So you can see me and Mary Carl. That was well, that was better, and then you turned it. I had it like the other way. <laughs> okay. And of course, that's a big Mark Ingram fixing to run that in for a touchdown. But yeah, it was. Uh, I love that memory when it comes up. I really do. He asks me every day, <laughs> "Did you see the memory? Did you see the memory?" And most of the time, I haven't. Mm. But there are a few times when I have. That's my favorite thing on on Facebook. Really, is it's the memory. memory. Mm -hmm. Well, is. you know, if there is a plus about mm -hmm. Facebook, it allows us to keep tr keep contact with family members by adding pictures and whatnot, mm -hmm. and then keeping up with memories. Right. Um. We had one, what was it? No, you found a drive that had some old I stuff did, on it. But yesterday, was it yesterday, day for yesterday, my favorite memory ever, and I won't be able to pull it up because it's gone, um, is... You uh, sent it to me. I sent you the videos. and it's, I showed you the memory of Mary Carl showing the colors. Uh -huh. That was a memory. That wasn't the one I sent to you. I just showed you it in the bed. The ones I sent to you was Mary Carl getting a chicken on Valentine's Day and then she hitting her head. And I thought you sent me the colors. Mm -mm, that oh. was on Facebook. Oh, okay. But long story short, Mary Carl was showing her baby ducklings and teaching them colors. And she was probably three, four years old. I don't think she was that old. She was, she was young and she learned her colors really early. But you can hear showing the colors. And it's funny because she refers to herself as first person. I think that's right. And she's like, I'm going to teach you them colors. That's what she says. And the little ducklings are in the... In, the, in a the tote. tote. And she goes, yellow. And she gets another one. And she goes, orange. And um, and then she gets one and it's uh, another color. And she gets the... She says, brown. She said, oh, sometimes we we miss up on the colors. This is... And it says blue or whatever it was. It was... This one of my favorite ones ever. It was funny. I wish funny. I had it, but it's gone now. <laughs> it's gone. It's gone. It's long gone. Yep. And she said that she remembered one of the memories we showed her. Yeah. Which was outside mm -hmm. on the picnic table. And how she remembers that, I do not know. But we have specific things that we remember. And, and some we don't. Some we don't. Yeah. I got to tell y'all something. <laughs> I got a computer. Oh. <laughs> I got a desktop. <laughs> oh, goodness. There's no telling. I liable to start editing my own videos. I'm glad you didn't spit that water out while I <laughs> said that. I didn't either. Oh. But I have a desktop mm -hmm. computer in the extra bedroom, and I am enjoying it. You like it? I love it. I love it. I love it. Finally, after several years now. Several. <laughs> We lived in the camper for a year. We've been in here for a year. It's probably been four years. You finally got a desktop. I finally got a desktop. And sweet Cindy sent us a, a printer that I can hook up to that computer yep. and do everything that I need to do and more. Y'all look out. <laughs> The world is changing. <sighs> I'm so excited. It's just, it's so hard when all you have is a phone to do things. Yeah, it is hard with the phone. And you don't like the laptop. And y'all, I was talking to, I was talking to Catherine, my good friend at G&G. &G, and I was telling her I got the desktop. And in the meantime, Zoe from Chestnut Hills was texting me. <laughs> 
I accidentally sent Zoe a picture of the desktop setup. <laughs> And I realized I sent it to oh Zoe. Oh my goodness! And I told Zoe, I said, "Oh my Because you can text on this desktop. Yeah. I told Zoe, I said, "I said I'm sorry. I meant to send that send that to Catherine." She said, "Oh, I was about to say, nice setup." <laughs> <laughs> Don't y'all just love it when you just oh, when you send something wrong to the I wrong got, person? I got one um, yesterday. It said it wasn't from Nick, was it? No, it wasn't from Nick. It said the feed's in the truck. <laughs> and I knew it was to the wrong person. It was Lester. Lester sent me a text that said the feed's in the truck. Oh, goodness. <laughs> it, it happens. I mean, it happens. And especially when you, like me, I was in between two people and I just didn't pay attention. The feed's in the truck. But Zoe, Zoe said, well, nice setup anyway. <laughs> so Zoe knows what my setup looks like and I'm proud of it. <laughs> It ain't nothing fancy. <laughs> it ain't nothing fancy. It ain't nothing fancy. But <sighs> Catherine wanted to see the desktop, so I sent it to her and sent it to Zoe. You know, while you were going to get the scan and some work done at the doctor, we rode with you. Mm -hmm. But instead of us staying at the doctor's office the entire time, sitting in the waiting room, you dropped us off at the trampoline park. I did. Mary Carl's been wanting to go to the trampoline park. So we went to the trampoline park, me and Mary Carl. I didn't jump. I didn't I didn't participate in the jumping, but I told y'all next time that I'm going to participate in the jumping. I'm telling y'all right now, I am not participating in the jumping. <laughs> but we went to this trampoline park. I've never been to one. And I have. You have. I have never been to one. And I must say, it was um fun. It was quite fun. Uh, me just watching her was fun. I didn't tell you this. I don't know about the one that you went to, but this one had massage chairs everywhere for oh, the no. parents to sit in. No, I've but you had to two. pay for it. it. wasn't free. But they had these. I mean, shown enough massage and recliners. Just I bet there was a hundred of them in there. How much did it cost? Five dollars and fifty cents. I think was the starting price for a minute, probably. No, it was longer than that. It was like fifteen minutes. Huh. And then it was like only like two more dollars and it was like a good bit more, but I didn't do it, but, um, you should have. it was, uh, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was quite fun. Miracle had a really good time. Well, it's a good thing. Cause we got, look at Catherine. I thought she was in, Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Catherine. <laughs> um, it's a good thing that y'all went there because, well, I don't know if it is yeah. or not. Cause, I got in some traffic and it ended up taking me about an hour to get six miles. Mm. And y'all were, we were trying to get home because the storm was coming. Right. And Jason was like, well, maybe we ought to start walking yeah. because the traffic was so bad. We could walk to you. You could walk to me because y'all, I got two miles yep. away and it was 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. And I said, stay put. Do not walk. Stay put. And about that time, it seemed like the traffic started clearing up. And next thing you know is I'm pulling in the parking lot. Yep. Yeah, that was, uh, it was, that was crazy. But the 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 trampoline park itself, Mary Carl, this is like, what did she say? She don't even remember going to the first one. No, she was... Uh, it was somebody's birthday party or something. But but she wanted to go and she had a good time and she jumped around. But there was kids that were there that do it a lot. So and they had rules and they would announce the rules like every twenty minutes or something over the intercom. And it would be like you know you can't you can't double jump you can't do a double flip you can't do this you can't do that. But they had this one area they had like these three huge trampolines and it had a padded wall. And it had walls on this side. And so Mary Carl was over there and she was jumping around on it, you know, just jumping up and down. But then these other kids came over there and there was a, there was a team member, is what they called them, mm -hmm. standing there watching the whole thing. And so this one little boy jumped. He jumped all the way on top of the wall on top of it. I was like, oh, he's fixed to get in trouble. But that was that was allowable. After watching it, I realized what you can and can't do. So, Nick, when you jump, you can 
jump high enough to grab onto that wall. You right? can jump and climb up on the wall, and you can't jump off that wall except falling backwards. That is that's the wall. only way that you you can't jump, you can't do a flip, you can't do anything. You have to fall backwards. So these kids would fall backwards on their backs, and then bounce back and just keep doing it over and over and over and over and over again. Well, I didn't go in, but I heard all about what you can and can't do in the different areas. And I'm going to tell y'all, it's a good thing. Well, Mary Carl's not, she doesn't test right. her limits, so to speak. But it would have made me a little nervous. Yeah, well, she wanted to do it. I ain't tell you this part. She wanted to fall backwards. She kept saying, Daddy, I can do it. I can do it. And I was like, look, you're not climbing up there for the very first time. Because it was like 10 foot uh -huh. and falling backwards. You're not, you need to do it on the ground to see if you could do it. And she was like, okay. I said, if you can do it, you know, on the ground, and then you can work your way mm -hmm. up. She never could do it. Well, it's a good thing she didn't climb up there, Liam. I told her. I said, I'm glad you didn't fall from the top. You oh. couldn't even do it on the ground. <laughs> oh, my gracious. See, that's what I mean. It would have made me a little nervous. Now, like I said, she doesn't test her limits. But what happens is, is she thinks, just like you said, yeah. she thinks she can do something, yeah. and she ends up climbing down. Yeah. So yeah. if she had got up there, could she have came back down? Yes, you could come back. And she actually did that. She actually oh, okay. jumped and climbed up there and climbed back down. Okay. She never did fall back. But there was one person, y'all, that warmed my heart. He put the biggest smile on my face. I watched him. So most of them are these younger kids and all athletic and doing all these tricks. And here comes a much older person. I'm not quite for sure how old he is. I'm saying either... 18 to his early 20s uh -huh. and he was he was a special needs person and y'all he i'm telling y'all he lit up that park i warmed my heart so he went over there to all these uh boys were doing all these tricks and flips and stuff and he goes over there and he's a quite big bigger than they are. Mm -hmm. So he jumps and he gets on top of the on top of the wall up there. And I'm actually nervous when he gets up there. I'm really am. I'm thinking, oh gosh, he's going something's gonna happen. But he's up there and he starts rooting these boys on and high fiving them and telling them, you know, I mean it was I got so tickled at him. And then he goes to the high spot and he looks down, and I'm like, he's going to fall backwards off the high spot, which none of these boys have done yet. Uh -huh. And there he went. And my heart sank, and y'all, like a professional, boom. And he kept, and he started doing these tricks, and he got so excited. And I smiled for an hour after that. He well, had the best time. He obviously does it a lot. He obviously does it a lot. And the kids may have already known him. Yeah. Because you know, they obviously did I'm it sure they too. did. I'm sure they did. But it, it was it was just so touching to see him and just I don't know it, it, it was it was fun to watch him. He had the best time of any child there. Well, I got to UAB, which was my destination, and checked email because I had internet. So I was sitting there in the waiting room, whatever, and up pops a waiver that Jason has signed. <laughs> You had to sign a waiver <laughs> saying I give my permission for my child to oh. enter at her own risk. Yeah, you had to and, sign a waiver. And all and I thought, oh goodness, here I sit in the hospital waiting on <laughs> but listen, y'all, let me tell y'all what's right across the street from <laughs> not my doctor. From the trampoline park. It was an emergency room. <laughs> Jason said when we came out, how convenient. Oh, I thought, boy, they put that one in the right spot. <laughs> but that emergency room is right there. I mean, like you wouldn't need an ambulance or anything. You could just walk out. The <laughs> well, you couldn't walk because you'd be. It literally was across the street. You it could see the lighting from the inside. It said sure. big old red sign that said emergency. I mean, it was right across the street. Oh, man. Well, thankfully, Mary Carl didn't need it and nobody needed it while you were there. No, everybody had. I say everybody was behaved well. I really was impressed and happy, and I had a good time. But when y'all got there, it was during normal school hours, so it wasn't. It a, wasn't. It wasn't too crowded. It wasn't all. a big, mm -mm. you know, but kid when, day. Right. But when school got out, is when the the kids started coming in. And last week probably would have been very crowded because kids would have been still out. I'm sure. I'm sure it was. So 
But we had a good time. I thought I saw something fly across, but I guess it probably didn't. was a chair. <laughs> Ain't no telling. <laughs> it is whipping out there. I'm telling y'all. <laughs> oh man! And also, I forgot this. So this is in Birmingham. I've never been this area before in my life, and I'm watching Mary Carl jump, and this nice lady and her little son came up to me and asked me, "Was I a YouTuber?" How about that? And I said, "I am." I said, I "Think my mama watches you." <laughs> I send Jason sends me a text and said, I just got reached out to and asked me, you know, if I was a YouTuber. Mm -hmm. And I said, Well, that's great. I had a mask on because, of, um, yeah, you know, my right. immune system's not so up right, the up. Right. I said, Well, nobody's recognized me. <laughs> and I don't think they would have with a mask on. Yeah, probably not. But I did not want to have to park in the parking deck which you have to walk across like three crosswalks to get there it's a mm -hmm. long walk and i'm having some fatigue to say the least mm -hmm. so i get parallel parked with cars coming i'm just in my reverse and i said you know they just gonna have to wait on me i get parallel parked i get out of the car get my quarters i put them in the meter and i put three quarters in and it kept saying 30 minutes and i was like what in the world put another quarter in still says 30 minutes i go around to the front of the meter 30 minute parking that's all it was that's all it was and i said to myself i said i cannot walk that far and i'm gonna hope i'm in and out of here in 30 <laughs> minutes and the car doesn't get towed uh, they probably just write you a ticket i don't well, know if they tell you I, I i looked at all the other cars and their time had run out Oh, okay. And their cars were still, still there. there. And I said, I'm going in because I was I was pretty close to the where I needed to be. And lo and behold, I got back out and my car was still there. And I sure was thankful because all I could think is they were going to put a wheel lock on it or tow it. And if they towed it, yeah, how was I going to get to y'all? Oh, gosh, that would have been bad. <laughs> and then I thought, well, they can take an Uber. Oh, man. Surely they can take an Uber. I'll figure myself out. You'll figure it out. <laughs> but my, I was thrilled to see the car was still there when I came back out. I'll tell you. Oh, all my truth. goodness. And I got on the elevator with a gentleman that hopped off on my floor. And he said, wait a minute. What floor is this? And I said, three. He said, oh, I'm going to two. And we got to tickle because he had gotten off on mm -hmm. the wrong floor. And we got to telling each other stories about getting off on the wrong floor and, you know, going a lengthy way before right. you realize... Mm, that's not where I need to be. It's a wrong floor. Wrong floor. So he got back in with me, and we we laughed all the way down. But it was it was quite a day because we didn't know what to expect last night and weather. Um, um, Chestnut Hill says check for valet next time. It's worth it. Hopefully, there's not going to be a next time. Hopefully not. Knock um, on wood. When I'm at my doctor's office, which is in Hoover, I always find parking. But downtown Birmingham at UAB <laughs> or at Kirkland Clinic, it is the pits. It is terrible. It's the terrible. I it mean, it's terrible. Um, now, I have done ballet at Children's Hospital yep. many a time. That's right. With Mary Carl and her being sick and me not be able to get her from the parking deck to mm -hmm. uh, I do it. I, well, hopefully, no more of that either. But I did it every time because you got a child that's sick and you can't carry them that far. And you may have to park somewhere crazy in that during day. Oh, it's just crazy. No yeah. matter where you park. Yeah. Cause I, you know, her mm, mm -hmm. enough of that. Mm. Well, we talked about the ball game and how that was a big feud and clashing, but was nothing like the feud that I, and rivalry that we have here between lovely Loretta and Big Moody. Well, I must tell y'all, <laughs> y'all have seen more than I have because all I heard was the play-by-play -play <laughs> as to what was going on, and I could not believe it. I'm going to tell y'all, so that video, and this happens, I want to say, a lot. So I come up with an idea. So today I'm going to do this, and I'm going to video it, and the animals – decide otherwise and change the total thing I had planned on making a video about. Well, it never would have occurred to me that any pig would have had an issue with either Mo or Moody. Yeah. 
I mean, just never occurred to me. No, it never occurred to me either. So my video was going to be about me moving them and, and just, you know, talking to them and like I normally do, because that's what we really do here. <laughs> and so, you know, I get them moved and who knows what happens when you move them. They may run off or whatever. And of course, you know, of course, that makes a good video if, you you know, nobody gets hurt or anything. Right. So no, didn't, you know, they follow me like they're supposed to. And well, after a while, you know, because it took me a little bit to get the porter hooks over there and then go get the tools. And it, it took me a little bit. And so I started noticing Loretta and Moody. And I thought, honestly, and I said this in a recording, I'm recording. I was like, look, they're getting to know each other. Mm -hmm. And I thought they were having a friendly conversation. <laughs> Lo and behold, as I'm recording and, you know, continuing on my video, I hear the fence go, boom. I mean, you can hear that metal fence move. And I looked, and Loretta lunged, full-fledged at Moody. I mean, just, boom. And she tried her best to bite him. <laughs> and then she, then Moody took his head and started slinging it back. And I was like, oh, my gracious. This, this is actual... Not getting long business. Where was here. Gus during this? Oh, Gus is yes, he don't he can I know he doesn't care, but was he anywhere near her? Or sometimes he... he would be, sometimes he's off walking around, rooting around, or what a Gus could care less. He is the most chill fella on this farm. I mean, he could care less. So this went on for the entire time that I'm over there trying to get these porter huts and them set up the entire time. And so I kept thinking it was going to die down. And and if Moody ever would have walked away. Yeah. And I it think, would have been over. I think it would have been over. But he wouldn't. He just would sit there. And Loretto, every now and then, let Loretto would walk away. But Moody would not. Moody stood there and paced back and forth up and down that fence. And I thought to myself, good gracious, what? Because you know good and well, if Moody wanted to, he'd come through that fence. Oh, he could come through that fence. He could step over that fence. If he wanted to. So... I thought to myself, what in the world am I going to do? You know, first thing it was, I'm going to have to move them back. I got everything moved over, which had probably taken me three hours to do. I know every time I looked, I would, you know, I was trying to straighten up the house and whatnot. And every time I'd look outside, you were doing something different. Yeah. I mean, it, it took me, you know, moving in porta huts and going to get the shavings and then yeah. you have to drive all it. Anyways. So. I was like, I'm gonna have to move everything back. The porta huts, the waters, the feed barrel, get go get more shavings. I was like, good gracious. So then I thought, well, what about if I just put me a little hot wire straight down through there? Because it's already got a hot wire there and I can just tap right into it. And that's what I did. And well, I didn't tell you this in the first video. So y'all y'all know I was cooking. That's what I was doing. A, I cooked lunch that day. That's a four foot fence. Mm -hmm. And then about another six inches above that, I got the hot wire there to keep Moody in there because he will step over it. So Loretta and Moody are going in it. And this is how mad mad Loretta was. Mm -hmm. She was mad. She you was mad. She was mad. Y'all, I don't know how tall Loretta is standing on her back legs. <laughs> She's not very tall. But she would stand on her back legs and get on that fence and try to get Moody. And she lunged tall enough where she touched that top for her. My <laughs> gracious, she was stretching out. Wasn't she, she? <laughs> she was stretching out. And I thought, oh my gracious. So she that 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 got her attention, of course. And so she backed off, and I thought maybe that's gonna calm them down. But of course it didn't. She came back. So when I put the new hot wire there, that just calmed everything down. And today, they didn't. They weren't paying. Oh, they weren't paying. Uh, uh. Yeah. Because I went out this morning to feed, and yep. it was like you know, it was like they were separated by a pasture again, which they weren't. But I bet when you went to put the animals up, yes, uh, that evening. Yeah. I bet Peaches said to you, and you thought that lady was nice. <laughs> I've been trying to tell y'all she had a bad side. <laughs> oh. Although we never saw any instances like that between Peaches and Loretta. Not I like can, that. Now, I they can, did have arguments, yeah, but it wasn't did. like that. <laughs> but I can just hear Peaches saying, and y'all thought she was nice all this time. 
<laughs> I could have told y'all. Oh, lovely Loretta. <laughs> Look at Misty Dawn woo, laughing. <laughs> I'm telling y'all now, she's a firecracker. She is a firecracker, but she's Man. a funny firecracker. I, look, I looked out, out there at her this morning after I had, I fed, Jason had some things going on inside. And um, so I fed Gus and Loretta first and Loretta got finished with her food and lo and behold, there was not a drop of food in that bowl. Yeah. And she's doing her victory lap with that bowl <laughs> in her mouth. Just running with the bowl. No reason. Man. I'm going to have to make a video about hunting for bowls in the morning. It, yeah. You could never know where that bowl's going to be. You never know where the bowl is going to be in the pig pasture. One will be where it's supposed to. <laughs> Gus's is right where he finished his food. <sighs> Loretta's is like a <clears throat> wild, rotten egg chase yeah. that you don't want. You just don't know. You, you don't ever know. I can't tell y'all how many times I get in there with the food in the container, mm -hmm. ready to put it out, because I'm not going to feed them on the ground. That's just a no-no. You don't feed animals on the ground. Uh -huh. So I'm looking for a bowl, and she's <clears throat> following me, rooting up against my right, leg. Right, right, right. She's wanting her food. Yeah. But where's your bowl, Loretta? You got to seek it out. Yesterday, both of them were not there when I moved them. There was one all the way in the back. And there was one in the port of it. Well, she took his too then. Because he didn't do that. <laughs> no, he didn't do it. I can guarantee you. Oh, Gus didn't do it. And I bet he says, ma'am, you need to calm down. <laughs> They're going to feed you every day. He, he, and that's exactly how he would talk. Yes, he's just chill. Gus is the most laid back pig. He's more laid back than Peaches is. But I know she takes that victory lap with her bowl every single day. We yeah. just don't see it every day. No. We don't because we when we feed them, we get done and we go on to the next next one, and and that's in the morning and yep. then in the evening, same thing happens. So ah, she's a mess. She is a mess. She, is a, she has one of I, they all got great personalities, but hers is over the top. It's over the top <laughs> in a positive way most of the time, except for when she met Moody for the first time. I still can't figure that out. I just. You know, I just think it was Moody was new, and she's protective of her area. Maybe That's she's protecting Gus. Who she knows? She might be. She might be. I'm telling you, I, Peaches said, y'all saw that side of I've been trying to tell y'all. Or, or because there was a space between them, Moody and Loretta. Yeah. Moody may have been talking some smack Maybe. because there was a space there. And then when I moved him over there, Loretta's like, uh-huh, say it now, sucker. <laughs> but maybe Loretta's, maybe Loretta's the one that's been talking smack. And Moody's like, I'm 2,000 pounds. <laughs> I can send you to the moon very easily. Oh, me. I just can't imagine being a little squirt like Loretta. I mean, she's not little. But to Moody, she's little. And, and She's going to take on Moody. Going to take on Moody. By far the biggest animal here. Oh my gracious. She's what brave. was she thinking? She's brave. She she is. She is brave. She does not she has no care in the world. Well, we'll continue to do this move oh, from man. pasture to pasture to pasture with the pigs. So, you know, the ground can be rejuvenated and whatnot. But um, you know, eventually Moody's not gonna be there anymore. Yeah. And the pigs will still stay on that side because well, we have those pastures there. I'm sure I'm glad we haven't ever put them in the same pasture, not thinking anything about it. Jason, can you imagine? <laughs> oh my gosh. What if we had said, you know, we need to move them together for whatever reason? Ooh, he'd send her to the moon. Oh, I think she'd come back too. Oh, I have no doubt. She'd I come think back. she'd come right back. She, uh, She's a firecracker. I think she'd come right back. It's a fight that I wouldn't want to witness. To be honest with you, I think Moody would run away. <laughs> I do. Funny. I do. I think Moody would be like, what in the world is this crazy pig doing? I got to get out of here. <laughs> he probably would. And Mo would probably run for his life. <laughs> Y'all, Mo, makes, oh, Mo makes these little noises when he eats. And it's the sweetest thing. <laughs> he just kind of goes, mm, he does. Mm, he, just kind of a girl. You know, Tip kind of does that sometimes. Not like Mo. Not like Mo, Mo does, does it every time. <laughs> <laughs> Every time it's so sweet though. It is. And I bet Joe used to make fun of him too. I don't know. I bet Joe said, You little squirt, you don't make those noises when you eat. 
<laughs> you got a snort. Yeah, he goes, <laughs> I've never heard Mo snort. No, I ain't heard him snort yet either. Not yet. Yeah. But you know, he's not a he, breeding age. He's not acting like Joe yet. Uh uh-uh. uh. Not at all. Well, he don't stink or anything. He loves Joe. He does. Him and Joe are BFFs. They are really, and I tell you, he caused a big cuss. It in. was. He, um, I just saw the peacock run by. At least you didn't see a trampoline fly by. <laughs> he, he will go to the edge of the fence and he looks over there at Joe. Yeah, they need to be together. We got to get them back together. Because Mo loves Joe. Yes. And Joe loves Mo, but mm-hmm. Joe doesn't love Mo as much as he loves his ladies. <laughs> <laughs> no, he doesn't. Not at all. Ooh, but the, the ladies can go back to their their home yep. because I looked at my phone today and it was November the 30th is when we put Capri in with, with Joe. And I will say, you know what? Man, that win. Can, can y'all, y'all hear, hear it? it? <laughs> oh my gracious. It's a, it's a north wind coming around the house. It's actually a west wind. Well. Um, but I will say that the I've been calling the lovebirds. Though that those three were the two Nubians with Joe. Joe acted pretty well. Yeah, he he's he's um he's not he's not being mean at all no. by all means. He's being a gentleman. But um you know you you just just can't really have a book without a place to put them. Yeah, if you want to keep one, you you need to more likely have them separated. Like but. Laura, our friend at Simply Making It, you know, she's got her book pen and she's got um, oh, Bobby Joe now. Yep. It came from, from Sneed. Yep. And she's got him with another book separated from her does. And if you're going to have a book, you have to do that. Well, yeah, I think a lot of people don't know. And then once they realize that, hey, this is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Well, well, I don't know, normal, what am I going to do? It's normal buck behavior. <laughs> That's right. That's the way they act. That's but, the way they act, except for Topper. Yeah, but I don't, I don't think Topper's... Oh, HUD. <laughs> We're not talking about Topper. Oh, me. Yeah, we get tickled every day that we leave the farm in the vehicle, which is not every day, but every day that we do, we look over <laughs> in the pasture and the goats get excited for some reason when we drive. I don't know what it is. And the whole herd of goats, not Mildred and Jesse, but the whole herd Just running. the goats. And Paris is usually in the lead. Yep. Topper's in second place. And then it's Bo and Bootsy. And Tipper. And Tipper. Yep. But to see Topper run... He looks like Fabio, and that's no lie. His hair's blowing in the and wind. That beard. And he looks, he's just a beautiful mm. specimen. But he acts like he don't have any joint, any elbows. He runs kind of funny. His legs are completely stiff when he runs, and he kind of like goes like this. <laughs> but Topper has definitely earned his keep to let us know that he deserves to be with the girls and not the boys. He is the most friendliest goat we have. He is the most. Yeah. The, and we have, well, tips a bottle, baby, but yeah, tips, tips a weather. Bottle, yep. I was trying to say comparing, but Boots toppers, is a bottle, baby. Top, and we didn't bottle feed um, Topper. No. Terry bottle feed yep. Topper, who was the number one goat breeder in the Southeast at the time. Mm-hmm. Um, she was planning on using him for her number one buck. But what happened? Why did she end up wanting us to take Topper? I can't remember. I can't remember either. Something something happened there, and she didn't want him to go anywhere but to us. Yeah. And so we took Topper, and I'm so glad we did because he's a sweetheart. Y'all know that um, Catherine did Chestnut Hill's donkey, Jack, up for when they were gone. And Topper would sit there and let you do that to him. You could braid his hair and color it and stripe yeah. him up. And He's a sweetie. Make him beautiful. So sweetie. He could be a house goat. He could be a house goat. He could be a house goat. He's Absolutely. just well behaved. <laughs> he doesn't. Absolutely. And y'all, even like the video I did where I was cleaning up the pasture, you know, Tip got on the side by side. Tip's always been bad, though. Not, not to say bad, but he just does things that you, you don't particularly want him to so that's my definition of being yeah. bad 
Right. But Topper would never do that. No. He's just a good boy. He's just like that student that you just want all the kids to be like. There's Topper. Not like Loretta. Not like Loretta. <laughs> Peach said, I told y'all, I've been trying to tell y'all that's a bad girl. <laughs> oh, me. She start, tries to stir up stuff, and Peach said, I don't want no part of it. Yep. I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you. Oh, my goodness. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> Hopefully, that feud is over. I didn't even think about it this morning. I mean, when we went out to feed, I just, it didn't occur oh, to yeah. me that they had even fought. Yeah, they, 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 they were uh, completely... Back to normal. Yeah, not even paying any attention. Not paying any yep, attention. Yep, yep. None at all. None at all. All three of uh, Moody's buckets were in his pen, and they were a little bit too far for he me to reach. reach. Mm -hmm. And I told Moody, I said, Moody, I'm not playing today. I'm not coming in there to get the buckets for you to play with me. <laughs> I'm going to wait on your daddy. <laughs> oh, man. So you got the buckets out because I... Just wasn't going to do that. I wasn't taking chances with our big boy. You know, talking about coloring Tipper's hair, his beard's already blue. It is. It's from the a cobalt. <laughs> a cobalt block that we used to use. Isn't that what turned no, it No, it's not. It's the, the loose minerals that turn it blue. Why do they turn it blue? Because once it gets, gets on that white, it's just what color it is. I guess it's probably got cobalt in it, I bet you. Hmm. I bet it does, too. I bet it does, too. But his, his beard is blue, yep. for sure. Uh, nobody else you can tell the color on because they're all dark colors. Capri, you, I mean, Fifi, you can sometimes see it on her face. Around mm -hmm. her lips, it looks right. blue a little bit. But we love our animals. We love our goats. I told Jason the other day, I said, there is no way I could part with not one animal on this farm. Not one. Not one. And, and, and not cry about it. You know? Yeah. I mean, yeah, Loretta and Moody had a little spat, but if I had to get rid of either one of them, it would be <laughs> detrimental for all of us. <laughs> There's nobody oh. here I could part with without shedding a whole lot of tears. Yep. They are our love, and we do the best we can to take good care of them, as y'all know. <laughs> oh, Loretta. I still can't figure that one out. I don't I, know I'm going. not even going to try to figure it out. But I'm going to tell y'all about my blood work yesterday. Mm -hmm. I'm an easy stick. And I'm an easy patient. And and I just sit there and I just watch them. Mm -hmm. And I have no problem. And me and the lady that was nice as could be are carrying on conversation. Da, 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 while she's wallowing around trying to get the vein. And she couldn't get it. And so I didn't say anything. But I said, I'm usually not hard to get blood from, and I've drank a lot of water. And so she proceeds to go to my hand, which you can still see the tape. Yeah. Uh, walla, 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 walla. Doesn't mm. get it. Carrying <clears throat> on the conversation, I'm like, woo-wee. I'm starting <laughs> to think, this is not feeling so good. But I didn't say anything. Oh, goodness. So we go <clears throat> to this arm, and we, oh, this one's, this one looks bad. Does it's it? green and blue and purple and stuff because she walla, 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 and she finally got it. And I'm thinking to myself, I must not have drank as much as I thought I had because my veins are hiding from me, from her. Mm -hmm. And so she finally gets me, and I had to have the IV in so they could put the dye in for um, the CT scan. Mm -hmm. Well, y'all, I did not know that in order to have the CT scan, they had to check your kidney function. Mm -mm. I had never heard of that in my life. And so she puts my blood mm. in this little thing. And I said, what is that for? And she says, testing your kidney function. And I said, for what? And she said, well, we got to make sure that you can pass the dye out through your kidneys. Because if you can't pass it, then you can't have a CT scan. And I was like, hmm. I guess I had never had a CT scan before. I had my appendix taken out. Yeah. <clears throat> and I am pretty sure I had an MRI. That's what I had. Because I, I didn't have any when, with my head. But, but they put dye in me with my a MRI. CT scan. No, with the MRI, MRI. Because it was my appendix. Well, mine was my brain, so. Yeah, because you were smelling figure, smoke. I all wanted the to time. figure out why I was so smart and such a great wordsmith that the <laughs> So, anyway, 
I'm thinking to myself, hmm, you know, one of the reasons for the CT scan is yeah. in my kidneys because to make sure there's nothing, you know, there that shouldn't be mm -hmm. or whatever. And she says, this will take seven to 10 minutes. So she comes back and she tells me my kidney function's perfect. Fine. Oh, okay. And I'm like, well, great. This is something, you know, that means well to me. And I said, well, wouldn't they have already checked for that in some of the blood work I'd had done? She said, well, with all you've got going on, probably so. But I can't be for sure. So just know that your kidney function's good. Gotcha. Um, <clears throat> I had never been told my kidney function was bad by all means, but um, didn't know. So <laughs> I go to like another triage thing to wait on the person that was doing the scan to mm -hmm. call me back. Their next, her next patient up, he's in a wheelchair and he has a port. And so... She says, do you want me to get the blood from the port? And he said, well, you can. And she said, well, I'm right here. It won't take me two seconds to get the blood. And um, and he said, well, go ahead then. Oh, <laughs> oh goodness. Bless his, <laughs> bless his heart. And it wasn't funny. <laughs> but I thought heart. to myself, what's going on? I'm behind a little curtain. And she says, oh, I'm sorry. And he says, I'm usually not a hard stick. <laughs> and I thought, me either. I want to see if she's new. Well, I was telling mom about it, and she said, I bet she's new. And the lady had told me she had been a nurse for 20 something years. So maybe, maybe she was new at. Maybe it's new at doing that. I don't know. Yeah. But y'all, I thought to myself, I did drink enough water after <laughs> hearing that. <laughs> That poor gentleman was in some pain, and I wanted to scream. I'm not going to tell y'all a story. I wanted to scream after that second one because it was like a doing like this. Yeah. You're trying to find that vein. But I usually don't have a problem. And if she was nice as she could be, and I would never, ever have said anything to her face to face. I would I would have gave her this. That's what I would have gave her. Well, I didn't. So I just... She yes, wasn't sir. looking at my eyes, but I was going like this, <clears> and they were getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and I thought, not another stick. Yeah. So we finally got it on the That's third what one. I would have gave her that. Uh, I about gave her this. <laughs> 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 Y'all, it was a mess. I'm here to tell you, that mm. poor guy. And he had a port, and they, she, she could have just got it from the port. The worst ever happened to me was... It was one of those times where I got the flu. And oh, yeah. <clears throat> you were de dehydrated. I usually have to go to the emergency room. I mean, it usually have to get me put in the hospital. So, um, it was one of those times I got the flu, and they said they were going to give me some potassium. Well, lo and behold, I did not know potassium burned. Mm -hmm. And they didn't have the flow right because they, they diluted. Mm -hmm. And the nurse walked out. And so, I'm, you know, like this, of course, I'm sick with the flu next thing i know my arms on fire and i hit that button and i said my arms on fire <laughs> and i was like okay and i snatched it out before they got there I, I couldn't stand it it hurt that bad it hurt that bad so yeah i would have gave her that right there do you remember when i had my appendix out <clears throat> it was the biggest snowstorm that's hit in 15 oh, years probably gosh yes Mary Carl was little, and so Jason had to go home to be with Mary Carl. Right, so right. I was in the hospital, and this was nightfall. And y'all, I went home the same day I had my appendix taken out. They let you out. They let me out because the weather was mm -hmm. going to get so bad. Mm -hmm. And in Alabama, if if it's if it's going to snow, the whole state shuts down. Shuts and down. Not necessarily North Alabama, but where <clears> we were, which yeah. was in Selma at the time. Shuts down. So I tell Jason, um, they're going to let me go home. So he's on the way to pick me up while Mama stays with Mary Carl. And they had told me this two hours ago that I could get, I could go home. Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting on the edge of that bed, and they still hadn't taken <clears throat> my IV out. I had signed the discharge papers. I'd done everything. I took that IV out myself, and I <laughs> went downstairs, and I got in the car, and I went home. Because <laughs> we were trying to be the we storm. trying to be the storm. We were trying yeah. to beat that storm. It so, shuts down. It shuts down. And it, it was coming. I mean, yep. like that night, it was coming. So we made it home before the snowstorm. And I sure was glad I didn't have to spend the night in the hospital, even though I got my appendix taken out that day. It had been the longest day because I woke up. I woke up 
from a dead sleep with pain. You remember it? Yes. And we went on to the emergency room right then. So thankful to sleep in my own bed. I wonder how many people go home the same day when they had their penis taken out. I don't know, but they sure let us. They sure do. Because here, if we get if one sixteenth of an inch sticks, oh, it's a schools out, businesses close, um, the roads close. It's a big deal. Yeah. I mean, like you start talking about mm -hmm. it two weeks before you're gonna get some snow, and yeah. that's what they're doing now. You know, right. they're talking about next week, not necessarily the snow, but the cold temperatures, cold temperatures. and the potential is there mm -hmm. your bread shelves are empty there's no milk to be found in the county <laughs> i mean that's just the way it is this is alabama and i think oh, people that live where the weather is consistently cold and yeah. you know you have to shovel your oh car yeah, out, yeah, 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 yeah they don't get it they, well, they don't get it well it's well you can flip the the script here because severe thunderstorms and um tornadoes, tornadoes. <laughs> we're um Hurricanes we're, even. We all, yeah, hurricanes even, but we're a, we're a little more relaxed on those than probably they would be too. Well, the, I say relaxed. We just, you know, know what prepared. to expect and know we're prepared. Yeah. That guy that did my CT <clears throat> that son lives in, in Indiana now, he said, you know, he said, I just ain't interested in digging my car out of snow. <laughs> I can't imagine. He said, I just going to stay right here in Alabama. He said, we imagine. might have to be, we deal with the tornadoes yeah. and stuff, but I don't want <clears throat> to deal with that, with that snow. I can't imagine. But if we Ooh. do have to deal with it, it shuts the world down. It does shut it down. <laughs> I mean, y'all, there will not be a video if it snows because uh, cause we can't. We, we are by, Everything shuts down. It shuts down. No, I'm kidding. We will have a video if it snows. We still have internet. Because my mama bought a sled, a snow sled. I know where it is, too. Do you know where it is? Yeah, and we thought she was slap crazy, and we still do think she's crazy because it hadn't it snowed yet. yet. It hadn't snowed yet, but we got the snow sled just in case. But our biggest hill, here's the here's the issue. Our biggest hill at this property goes into the pond. So if we get on a slope yeah. with a snow sled, we're going to end up in the pond. We can find some more spots, I think. Well, I don't know if we got any safe, though. <laughs> That's we don't live across from an emergency room like the trampoline park. No, we park. don't. <laughs> yeah, we just don't have the heels like we had no. at the old place. And she bought it when we were at the old place. Yeah. Remember? That's right. No sled using yet. In 1993, do you remember that big snowstorm? Oh, storm? absolutely. That was the I most I graduated fun. that year. You did? Yeah. And we were not dating then. Nope. Um, That was fun. That was so fun. That snow. That was fun. That was the biggest snow I can ever remember. That was fun. That was fun. And the snow we had at the old farm, I can't how many years ago, six, seven years ago. Was pretty was fun little. Too. Yeah, it was pretty fun, too. That was fun. Yep. But we got that time. snow sled just in case. Just in case. Because one day it's going to happen. <laughs> one day it's going to happen. And the town's going to be shut down. We're going to not have <clears> any... Any way to get anywhere because you don't know how to drive in it. No. So you just stay home and you just sled. You stay home and then this is what happens. Because it usually seems like it snows in the evening time here. And, and for the most part. And this is what happens. Then you wake up and it's white. Uh -huh. And you're all giddy. Uh -huh. And you want to make that snowman. And it never snows enough. Every, you get that crazy when like in 93. But it never snows enough to make that snowman like you see on TV. Oh, no. You can just make a little ball about like oh, that. Oh, and it's got mud in it and <laughs> sticks and leaves and pine straw. And it, it's not white at all. No, it's a brown snowman. It's a brown snowman. Because it just don't happen here. And then come about 12 o'clock, all the snow's gone all because snow's it's gone. melted. Yeah. And then all your milk and bread that you went and bought... <laughs> You, you just got extras. You got so extras. You're eating bread for the next month to try to make up for those one day that you didn't go to the grocery store. Yeah. Mm. A lot to look forward to. Yeah, a lot to look forward to. But what's fun is seeing our dogs when it does snow. Yeah, I, I like to see Holly when it snows. Yeah, because Jewel and Sonny, remember yep, that, that last snow? They mm -hmm. had a, you could, they were just high stepping mm -hmm. and they don't know what to do because they don't That's like right. it touching their feet. And I'm sure it's cold. I'm sure it's cold. I'm sure it's cold, but they, they like it. They like to run and play. I'm in curious it. to see what Hollywood do in the snow. Here we act like it's fixing the snow. It's not going to snow. <laughs> if we wake up, they they are predicting 
some snow tonight. But Flurries. Mainly around Tuscaloosa. Yeah. Um, but it's not going to stick. It's not going to stick. Tuscaloosa and North. But maybe Jacqueline and Zach will wake up to a, a white white front yard tomorrow. Yeah. They do. We'll go up there and play with them. It'll be milked by the time we get over. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, oh my goodness. well, well, well. Well, y'all, I guess we have laughed until we can't. That's right. Our biggest laugh was about tough girl Loretta. <laughs> Loretta. 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 She's calmed herself Loretta's down. like one of those girls that will be on the roller derby. The, the skating, you know, yeah. the, you know, y'all know what I'm talking about. She would be a great roller, roller derby teammate. Yes, she would. I get tickled watching that. Mm -hmm. Um, not that you know, I mean, they're good at what they do. Yeah. But it still it makes you laugh. It does make you laugh. Cause they mean business, and Loretta means business. <laughs> he just said, "I told y'all about that girl. I've been trying to tell y'all." Oh my gracious! All right, video tomorrow. Video gotta tomorrow. Y'all got to watch and see. Um, oh, somebody asked about genetic results. Oh, what did they tell you today? They told me through the portal. It showed up that Thursday the results should be available at three o'clock p.m. That's for you. I don't know if they were talking about you or if they're talking about DD. Oh, well, I was <laughs> thinking about me. <laughs> Either way, Sorry, we're gonna give an answer to both of them. DD's is not gonna be back. You got an email from them today. I got an email yeah. from them today saying that. The samples have arrived at the next location. So they sent it to another location. Why? I don't know. Yeah. But the results should be available in 14 days. So Dee Dee's two weeks. Yours. Thursday at Thursday. 3 o'clock. That's what so. they said. I don't know why they said Thursday at 3 mm -hmm. o'clock. But obviously it's a certain amount of time that they give that gene to show up. I don't know. That's probably hard to find. I don't know. But Who knows? for Dee Dee's to be another two weeks is crazy to me. Because mm -hmm. I looked at the date and it was like. December the 26th when I sent that test off. Remember? Yeah, that's right. It was December 26th. That's been a while. It's been a while. But I know it takes time. And it's been the holidays. You can't just distract a gene overnight. Right. And she's worth waiting for. That's right. <laughs> whether she's th 3 or 33, we're going to find out. And whether she's Pomeranian or Skipper Key or Chihuahua or whatever. Yep. We love her dearly. To death. Love her to death. She's we a, do. She's a blessing. She's a character, y'all. She, she is. is a character. She is a character. You know, her and Loretta are kind of... Very similar. She she thinks she's tough. Dee Dee. Dee Dee thinks she's tough. Loretta is tough. <laughs> <laughs> I had to put... I did I tell you this. So, her and Moody, and I wasn't filming at the time, because I was trying to get them to, to just stop. Yeah. And so, they're over there... Blah, 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 blah. Going back and forth. And I was like, y'all break it up now. Let's quit now. And I, was, I was trying to get, <laughs> I was trying to shoot Moody on. But we're over there going, you know, Loretta's, and she's biting the fence. She's biting the fence like this. And I'm like, <laughs> she she coughs when I do that. <laughs> so I touched her. I said, I said, Loretta, quit, girl. And she didn't know who I was. I guess she thought I was like Moody's brother. So <laughs> y'all, she slung around. I'm talking about just. Whoom, she slung around <laughs> and she was like fixing to come at me. I was like, Whoa, girls, just she was like the roller derby competition. Cool, your jets, Turbo. <laughs> I mean, this is me. I'm glad she didn't bite you. Nah, I'm too fast for her. Oh, goodness, I'm too fast for her. So, the other day, <laughs> I was at the barn and Dee Dee was with me as always, and I drove the truck, and Holly was with me because yeah. Jason was editing. Mm -hmm. And so, it was time to come home, and I always put Dee Dee in the truck. Holly's looking at me like, Can I ride? So poor little Holly, you can tell her to load up and she'll put her front feet in, but she, yeah. can't, she won't put her back hand in. So I picked Holly up to put her in the back seat and Dee Dee was going to let her have it. <laughs> this is my truck. And you ain't fishing to ride with me. And poor little Holly, she was just like, I didn't know I did anything wrong. <laughs> and Dee Dee's showing teeth going up and down. <laughs> you know, so, Dee Dee does this thing. <laughs> we got to get on camera. <laughs> So she moves her mouth when she growls, mm -hmm. and she, it sounds like she's talking. She goes, <laughs> wow, 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 and every wow. time she does it, we laugh, and I bet it makes her mad because I bet she's thinking, "Here I am, mad, and y'all are laughing at me." Oh. <laughs> she's steadily growling, and it is her mouth moving, and it just how it comes out. It is hilarious. It is hilarious. <laughs>
But it's she means business. <laughs> oh, she means business. And y'all, there's no telling what she's had go on in her and, life. And Loretta too. Yeah. Before Misty Dawn got her, um, you know, Dee Dee. I mean, Loretta was in a very bad situation as well. We don't know about Dee Dee. We don't know about Dee Dee. So I think I think that's why Loretta's got that tough girl attitude too. Well, Dee Dee yeah. sure got it because yeah. you know, I mean, she doesn't go off and just try to attack things. No, but. She, what's hers is hers. <laughs> the garage door. <laughs> Y'all, we were supposed to be ending this live like 10 minutes ago, but <laughs> Yo. the first time this ever happened, <laughs> I thought I was going to call a vet. She is, I don't know what the word is. She's obsessed with the garage door. The garage door. <laughs> The first time it ever went up and she was outside, she went and she, she grabbed can't... onto the molding and the garage is going up and is pulling her up in the, the air. Gr- and she going, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and she's doing all this <laughs> on it. And her feet are dangling. <laughs> she's crazy. I, thought, I was just in disbelief. I thought to myself, what is wrong with her? What is wrong with her? It was like a rabid dog. Y'all, so if we go outside, you got tears in your I know eyes. it. If we go outside and she has any inclination that we're going to that garage, <laughs> she runs as fast as she can and she's pacing up and down in front of that garage. Doing that, and just <laughs> rawr, rawr, <laughs> it starts barking. I don't know why she hates the garage so much, but she literally hates the garage. Uh, and and when I go to town because she was dropped in the middle of the road. I'm constantly looking for houses that have a garage because I'm like, <laughs> something had to have ticked her off about this garage. <laughs> I mean, she I means what it is. business. She, she, I mean, up or down. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And even on the inside. <laughs> it doesn't matter. If, if, if the door nuts. opens and she goes in where the cars are parked, she starts going crazy. Oh my gosh. Just growling and barking and carrying on. So wherever she came from, she didn't like other dogs. Or she, she had somebody she, being ugly to her. And the garage door was a meanie. It had to be. Had to have been a meanie. <laughs> it was. None of her dogs could care less about the garage. <laughs> she hates it. She With hates a passion, it. she hates the garage door. Grabbed onto that rubber molding was hanging up in the air. The rubber molding's missing some spots in Y'all's it. Y'all's terrified. I mean, the dog's <laughs> hanging up in the air by the garage door. Jason's laughing, and I'm like, Dee! <laughs> What's going on? Oh, if, she, if, if, she's, if she hears it open when she's inside. She's going nuts. She's going to go nuts. We could open it right now, and y'all would hear it up here like, <laughs> I mean, sometimes when she barks and we're doing a live, Mama leaves. Yeah. And she's going crazy down there. She wants to kill the garage door. Because she's trying to get it. Yeah. Poor, One day. Poor Dee Dee. It's not, I mean, <laughs> something happened. It's funny why it happens, but, you know, to think of what the reasoning is. I don't know. It can't be good. I don't know. I have no idea why a doll would hate the garage door. <laughs> but she rides in the car very well. She does ride in the car. She went with me to have my genetic testing done in Birmingham. If y'all saw that video, all she does is sit. She just sits and she looks around and she does no harm until you open the garage door. Until you park the garage door. All right, we'll be back Saturday. (laughs) I hope y'all laugh till you cry. Oh my goodness. Oh, my stomach's hurting. <laughs> How do this many things happen to us that we can do a live twice a week? <laughs> well, you told me before we got started. You said, I hope you got something written down because I don't have nothing to talk about. I said, about. I don't know what I'm going to talk about. <laughs> so, oh, I told I you it's going to be just fine. We just keep on living. That's all we can do. <laughs> It's going to be just fine. It it was just fine. I hope y'all enjoyed. (laughs) We'll catch y'all on the next one. Y'all stay safe in this weather out there now. Y'all be good. Get your bread and milk. Get your bread and milk.